Do you have any children? No. Don't you? I'm ripe for procreation. Oh. <laughs> 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 and where's that? Welcome everybody to another episode of the Blue Tick Serious Banner Podcast. Myself, Digo. Myself, Bugsy. And we have a, a, a special guest today. Very special guest. Uh, an, an, a, a musical legend, UK musical legend. And you can introduce yourself. I'm Kelly LaRock, thank you. Kelly LaRock, <laughs> thank you. What have I signed up for? Well, you're signed up for <laughs> yeah. still. So Kelly, just a few things. Boom. All right, all right, let's get into it. Let's Straight start. in there, <laughs> boom, yes. Yeah. So yeah, now, how have you been? Um, how have you been dealing with this whole lockdown stuff and... I quite like lockdown, if I'm completely honest. Do you? Yeah, I think when I'm not out and about, like, busy, I'm quite a homebody. Oh, I like it? to stay at home. I like to chill. I like to watch box sets. Um, I enjoy my own company. What's your favourite box set that you've been At watching? the moment, I'm watching the new Peaky Blinders, and I just oh, finished The Crown. Okay. And The New Crown is dope. Is it? Yeah, like, the new... Ca- Do you watch The Crown? No, I don't. Uh, the new characters <laughs> that have just been introduced, so mm. Maggie Thatcher and Diana. It's so well cast. Okay. It's just really enjoyable. Now I might to have watch. a look at. I might have a look at. And it reminds you of your youth because you remember like seeing Lady Di when you was a kid, like on the TV and stuff. And okay. so it, it resonates more than the previous episodes because that was before our time. Okay. Yeah, but okay. no, no, it's cool. What do you like so, to watch? Um, I don't really watch much telly. You know, I more yeah. listen to music. Still. I don't have a TV, but I like I watch stuff online. Oh, just on laptop. Yeah, and stuff. I watch stuff yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see now. So yeah, so would you uh, say that you've been productive in lockdown? Yes, I've been going to studio loads. Um, and I have to say that's really been my solace. Okay. Because um, it's one of, that's my happy place. Like it's one of my, I, I wouldn't say it's my main happy place, but it's definitely one of my happy places. So music, you still have a passion? Do you still have the same passion? For yes, music? 100%. Oh, I have the same stuff. passion. I think the two elements of music that I enjoy the most are probably creating and performing. Okay. And at the moment I'm in creation mode, so I'm just finishing off a new album. I was album. watching one of your yeah. interviews or something that you had and you said that your main topic that you like to sing about is um, love. Yeah. And why is that? Explained? Because love is the highest vibration in the universe. Okay. And we just need more love in the world, right? I and that. I think if I can like use my passion and my art to kind of raise vibrations, then why the hell not? Okay. It's like subliminal, but also like poignant and, you know, because most of my songs have love in the title. But no, I hear that still. Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit cliche and it's a bit cheese, but that's no, my it's MO. it's real though. It's real still. It's real, it's that's real. where you get your yeah. best at. There's something that's in your beard. It's oh, annoying it? me. Oh. <laughs> 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 what were you eating? Salt and vinegar crisps? No, I were not <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So. I can't, can I just say <laughs> He's got questions written down. Yeah. But it's a screenshot of a pad with writing. Yeah, it's real. It's but you've got an iPhone, and no. you've got like a hey, notebook. Hey, 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 you hey, can just hey. notebook it. Hey, listen. Yeah, I, can That's like, I can just zoom in. Can you see that? Yeah, hey, of course. Right. I, can just, I can just Don't zoom worry in. about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> That's that splash. <laughs> That's that splash. Noted. No, listen. Um, on, a, on a serious one, though, like, obviously your career is not fi- nowhere near finished yet. But Good, thank God. What's... what's, 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 what's what what have been some of your highest and your lowest points in your career? Cause you you've done things like you you've won awards, you pushed the whole garage scene basically. Done that stuff. wasn't like you know the whole garage thing. That was never like an intention of mine. How I got into garage was that I just loved garage music. So the irony was I remember being in the clubs and my song was like top in the top ten like in the charts. How did and that I, make you feel? dope but it's like it's almost like the opposite now so i'm in the club and i'm like i need to hear my song yeah, in the club. Yeah, and i was like label please can i just have a garage remix mm. um and now it's the opposite like they're playing it in the club but it's not getting into the top 10 yeah, do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like it's the irony yeah, of it yeah i, was, I remember yeah, garage days garage days was lovely days yeah yeah Liber- i mean for me Liberty garage days have never ended but you know like the proper like back in the day heyday of garage yeah, it, it was a special time man it was a real Collie on a Sunday, every Sunday Ooh. I was there. Nah, Sundays it was a bit hard to get in. I was a young buck. Oh. So Sundays was harder to get in than any other day. If security they were being was mean, it. it was, yeah, it was harsh. Sometimes security the security was, was mean sometimes. Sundays was horrible down there. So what would you say was your highest point um, in your career? 
I think when I recorded my album in LA. Oh, was it? So I was like 20. So I'm in LA. I, w- I lived out there for like nearly five months. I had a convertible Mustang. I like. What to year be- was that? Oh, God, I don't know. I know you- he's trying to do the math. I know he's trying to do the math. <laughs> you could do the math, but I, you know, honestly, I can't remember. Okay. But I, what I will say to you is I'll, I'm, I'm, Google for- it. I'm 45, okay? Oh, no, Just you're so you, know. you don't look 45. I'm 45. Yeah, I know. Still. I know. I'll accept that. Thank you. Been Guani for long, you know. But, um, yeah, so when I was out there and I was just like having the time of my life, I was like smoking Philly Blunts with Missy Elliott. I went to, um, I met Hype Williams, he was staying in my hotel. So he invited me on a couple like video shoots. So mm. I met Busta Rhymes and just, I just had a really great time. No, that's and it was like, it just was happening. You know, like, I feel like I was doing the, the secret without realising I was doing the secret. Okay, Do you know okay, what I mean? Because okay. I was just so focused and so tunnel vision on my music and my art form that, that that's... Um, kind of what transpired it was just like oh this is my life okay cool I hear that. what was <laughs> your lowest sick. point um when i was trying to get out of my deal okay so i was basically signed to a label and i was licensed to a bigger label so i was signed to first avenue records and i was licensed to polydor, polydor yes, which is yes. part of universal now um and we left polydor um because we we, we we were about to release the third single and someone at radio one didn't like it and then it all just went tits up i mean i was on i was about to go on tour like supporting all saints they took me off the tour wow like it just it's funny how one little thing can just unravel everything so basically um i got taken off the tour and then a whole argument ensued like between my label who were also my management at the time Mm -hmm. and um, my record label polydor with the MD, who's actually, he's the MD of the whole of Universal now, ironically. Okay. Um, yeah, so I can't go back there again. Awkward. Mm. But um, maybe bridges. I could. But um, I, I didn't burn any bridges, but they had offs anyway. So we left them. Yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to leave them too. Like I wanted to leave my label and management too, and they wouldn't let me leave. So for like three years, they wouldn't let me leave. They wouldn't really let me out my deal. They wouldn't like invest any more money in me. So they just kind of just left me on the shelf. Oh, wow. So anything oh, that I was sugar. doing, I was doing myself and they would benefit from it, but they really weren't just like... yourself. No, no, really. <laughs> yeah, but my, <laughs> my label, yeah, they, they, you know, they, they wouldn't let me leave. And then at the end of the three years, I managed to buy myself out of my deal. Oh, shit. And yeah, and go on my sweet merry way. Is that when you took up acting? Um, Because I've seen that you had a couple... Yes, I've been in a couple. I've always done a little bit of acting. I've always been involved in performing arts on a whole. Like, okay. did you go I, stage school? I went to dancing school. Okay. I did get into stage school, but I didn't get a grant. What one? I got into Italia Conti, oh, wow. but I couldn't get a grant, so I, I couldn't that's go. A, now they just dish them out sounds, like water. That sounds special. That's but a, back no, in the day, one. yeah, it's no, a big one. Sounds, they weren't giving them out the willy nilly. It's one of the top, yeah. top ones. One and yeah, top, I couldn't top, get in there. But I went to dance school, so that was a regular thing. But um, I went to college as well, and I did performing arts at college. Okay. How did you feel as a young black woman going up collecting a mobo back then? Two mobos. Two mobos. Um, it was back a, then in a time like it was a huge was. honor. But you know, obviously the mobos was created because they didn't feel like urban music or black artists were you know were getting any accolades within the music industry. Um, and so that's how the mobos begun. Um, it was an honor, and you know. Also, I think one of the one, one of the mobiles I won was it was voted for by um, London Tonight okay. viewers. So to know as well, it was like public opinion that I should win. Yeah, it was just a, it was it was yeah. I remember that. It was very flattering. I was very That's honoured. Do, do you that still clearly. feel that mobo lives up to that now? Do you believe they're still um, holding or flying the flag for music of Black origin? Or do you feel like I more think, money's got involved than it's I been think they went through a transition because I remember at one point it was all about Americans and they weren't really that you know, interested in UK black artists. But since then, black artists are like at the pinnacle of like the industry now, oh, and of, of the scene. Yeah, like we're, we're, we're transcending. Advertising we're, KFC and all of that. Yeah, we're, we're going now. all places. Got a KFC advert? Couple black girls have got a couple. I ain't seen it, that's yeah, why I'm asking. Rapping, no, rapping that's why I'm asking. KFC. That's why I'm asking, because I ain't seen it. Mm. Have you seen it, KFC? Uh, I don't, but I don't have a TV. YouTube is Yeah, if KFC is on YouTube, I might see it, but yeah. I've not seen it. You ain't seen it? Never no. Right. no. Who, who is it? Who is in it? Who was in it? Not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not too sure. But <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, yeah. Um, and I think there a lot. There was a lot of UK people that were quite disgruntled at you know where they kind of just 
I, I think it was seen as like kissing up to American artists, but like now UK artists are doing the damn thing, and it's it's our time really. Especially, I think the rap scene here right now is huge. It's the maddest thing. We never really, you know, it's so funny. We never really saw it happening like no for way. a long time. It just happened we felt, overnight. Yeah, we felt like. Like, because R and B had its little moment, like UK mm. R and B damage and that. Yeah, and then grime then, had a moment, mm. and then UK rap had a moment. So I'm just, you know, like you every dog you, has their day. So definitely. I'm happy for them, man. You think now UK you get, rap should stay long? Long, because you see, like you're saying, everyone's had their moment in it, and that's true. I'll give it. Garage had a moment. R and B, all of them, they've all had a moment. Mm. Even like the little ragga top, ragga kind of. Garage ragga had a moment, yeah, and, but I don't reckon Garage had enough like limelight put on it because was, what you see what it is no but you see if there was youtube about if if there was youtube about the time when garage was going in do you reckon garage would have been bigger than it would have um garage had its moment do you reckon yeah. where it was just the yeah, biggest but, thing no because you know i think anything that's kind of really big on the underground it it, that it eventually is going to rise to the surface mainstream. and yeah. become mainstream but the thing about garage which is amazing about it and that's why i'm really grateful to be in this type of genre is that it's never gone anywhere it just went back to the underground but people i'm performing well before rona i'm performing every weekend do you that, know what i mean mm. how's rona affected you because i know you're oh works so. works over fam <laughs> works Ooh. done i did um i've done two gigs this year i did one in marbella and then I did a, a UKG brunch and the popo kept turning up and everyone had to sit down. So it was just like... Was that... Was, she is that, is that your, <laughs> <laughs> that's not your only That's not your only income, though. I know, you, I know you're a smart woman. I do. Maybe I have some other revenue streams. Okay, good. Can I like all fans I'm page. Sure I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine you... Imagine, 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 imagine you just about to ask... I was thinking about starting one for my feet for and my hands. Your feet and your hands? Yeah. No, you should say... I need paying to see feet and hands. I was just about to ask you that. I was just so you see if things really got low for you. <laughs> you see, if it, see if it was really on your face. face. Would OnlyFans pop would you start up? Would you start OnlyFans? I would OnlyFans? start OnlyFans, but I, it just wouldn't be a kinky one. Not like in the sense of where, what other people are doing. There's people that are making crazy money. Off of I know team. they eight, are. How much is my girl making? Like I'm hearing eight hundred. I was that girl making. making eight hundred. Megan, Megan, you Megan from from Wait, from what's she from doing? Love Island. She's doing what's she doing? stuff. You got to do stuff for eight hundred. What stuff is she doing? You got to do stuff. I don't know what stuff she's doing because I ain't seen it. No, man, I'm talking like they've seen it. I ain't even seen it. I ain't even seen it. No one ain't seen it. But she's she bought a new house and all that eight hundred. She's doing stuff. You gotta do stuff. Maybe I'll get my tatas out. Not really. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it, do you know what? I, I would never like like each to their own in it. That's just not my thing. Mm. That's not my thing. I mean, Morals. I like to dress sexy. Maybe I'll dress sexy, but I ain't getting my boobs out. No, you got the old These school. These are special. The old school. It's coming like a new mm-hmm. job. Coming like a new school job for for women nowadays. What the um, OnlyFans? Yeah, thing? just bust yourself for yeah, OnlyFans. Well, in your well, it's, the internet, out. it's the internet, social media. Right, you know, world so think about right it. Now. If she's making eight hundred grand a month, all right. Let's. I'm not, I don't want to say. When I check it, they Say low grade. Each oh, month, the one who turned out she's now a lesbian, isn't it? Oh. She's now a lesbian. Who was she with? She was with. I didn't watch Love Island. I watched it vicariously oh, through my friend with? who used to do a commentary. Who was she? On she was with someone. And then yeah, 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 yeah. I, get the picture up, man. Kind of like we ain't got. We kind of like we ain't got phones in there. Like yeah, she's mad. Doing a lot though. Boom. Good so, for so, would you, so you wouldn't do it. That's that's your. But you gotta think no, about it. No, I didn't say I wouldn't do it. I just said I wouldn't. You're not doing nothing. I wouldn't freaky. do it naked. Not doing. Uh, ne- okay. ne- I might wear sexy. Not even a little, little naked. No. <laughs> no. no. Just a little piece. Now I reckon you'll sell off still. I'm sell off. Dance okay. around in sexy lingerie. Okay. But I do that anyway no, no, no. for free. So if you're in a relationship and your partner asks that's you to. Oh, that one. I don't, I'm yeah. not familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, I don't even know. Her, 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 her laundry looks sexy, though. Yeah, that's probably her. If you're in a relationship and your partner asks you to do it, only fans would do that with him. With him? What, doing what? what proper we doing stuff. Here? Just proper stuff. X-rated Adult stuff. stuff. Like, like, like porno stuff. I wouldn't call it puno. Yeah. <laughs> puno? <laughs> puno. But yeah, just guanine. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. no, I'm very like, when it, I'm a bit of a prude when it comes to stuff like that. I'm very like, like I would be mortified if someone heard me having sex. Is wow. It? And, I, and I, if you were having sex, I wouldn't want to hear. What, what do I want to hear that for? No, that's tough stuff. Like keep the stuff to yourself, that's, mate. That's old school values still. Mm, I'm old not interested in that. Good values. To learn new, to learn the new, new school. Girl but you know like what that. I think mean, yeah, it is? Yeah. I think it's because once my mum heard me having sex and I think I've been scarred from that. Your mum heard you. I've got PTSD from that. Yeah. Your mum must have been scarring. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I and I think I never got over it, and so I'm just like, yeah, I can't imagine what that's like for a girl. You know, I'm just thinking, that's, whoa, yeah, that must be terrible. Mortifying. <laughs> My mom's heard me before, still, but. Your boy picnic. That's what I'm saying. I'm a boy picnic. But you know what? Bless my mum. She's not meant she to do it since I've been young. older. She but yeah. Ain't she? Nah. But, no, but you got for a good mum still. Oh, my mum's the best. Certain mums will be chowing it in people's faces. <laughs> do you remember the time? For a little while, she did, but yeah, I learned my lesson. You bet it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that weren't that's happening good. again. That's a who's, who's the best person that you worked with? Over the years, because you've worked with a few people. I worked with some. I worked people. with somebody. I mean, to be honest, I've actually been quite lucky that most of the people that I've really wanted to work with, I've managed to work with them. There's still a. There's still a couple. Oh, like there's, who? There's one that I never got to work with. Who? Tell us. Prince. Ah, uh, say nothing. Say I love nothing. him so yeah, Prince is much. Prince. Say nothing. You know what? You see, when I was young, I used to think he was so weird. You know. I didn't understand the guy. You don't have young. to understand him, but no, he... I just he used to scare me a bit because he was just like a bit. I didn't know I was young. I was pro- I was young though. I was proper young when Prince was popping. I was how old was me? How old are you now? I'm 39 now. Oh, so you're six years younger than me? Yeah, I was like seven, eight when he was eight. Them ages there. That was North Peckham days, isn't it? Probably because yeah. I think I, when I fell in love with Prince, I think I was about 12. Yeah, see, mm. I was when I young. Grew up, it was all about who, who, like. Michael Jackson versus Pops, I loved Michael Jackson but I saw legend, Purple legend. Rain and then I was like I was in love with yeah, Michael Jackson yeah, Prince was, was a little bit Michael Jackson was the king still. for all of us all though. about that yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit, a little bit left a little still. bit mm. Michael Jackson was the king for all of us though he was the king but can I just say yeah. there is like I'm not going to take anything away from Michael Jackson yeah Yeah. even though he might be a paedophile I'm not going to take Whoa. that away from him I'm not proved, they proved that that was wrong who did the people the people them the people them They is a state Whatever. They proved it. So Whatever. You could, you're but throwing out allegations. Is, no, but I'm... All right. We'll go back to that yeah, conversation yeah, in a minute. We'll, we'll, but we'll. the point I'm going to make is go that if you are a Michael Jackson impersonator, it's very easy to impersonate him. You can either impersonate him from nah, the... As you it say. is. You can either impersonate him from the Jackson 5 era or when he came into, like, his kingdom... Mm-hmm. He was a one trick. Hey, so when we've done this, we're gonna have you doing the movie. Try moonwalk. and impersonate Prince. How many hey. how many different looks has he had? How many different styles has he had? Like, that's why there are no good prince impersonators. I wanna see you do they the moonwalk. Impersonate after this. like what one aspect. I wanna see you do the him. robot yeah, like Michael. I wanna see you do Forget the moonwalk. Everybody talks about this. the moonwalk. Forget I'm you don't remember Michael's robot. I'm not hearing that. You're not hearing that. Nah, no, Michael, no, no, no. nah, you can't say that. He was That's different. He was in his own name. No, different. but what I'm saying oh, is. Oh, you can you just can imitate get... Michael. Loads of people imitate Michael. Yeah, yeah but they're not good at it. No, no, no. You know what they're doing, but that doesn't mean they're good at it. Because you know what they're doing. That doesn't mean they're good at it. There's a man in Jamaica. I've seen people impersonate Prince with the frilly shirt. Yeah, but exactly. But that's one look of him. I know. Michael Jackson didn't have as many different looks as Prince. No, but you see what it is with Michael. No, that's impersonating Michael Jackson. I've seen him. I know. Does he look like You see what no, he, 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 he just does the little meme but it's funny. And it, nah, you definitely. see what he's with Michael though? Michael's got so many iconic moments that no matter what you dress up as, you, it's easy to impersonate him because he has iconic outfits. You remember, you know, Thriller. Prince has got iconic outfits. How many? Yes. How many outfits do people, wait there, use lot. how many outfits of Prince's do you not remember? I remember him in well, one. Wait, 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 wait. No, I, I remember, remember him in a purple flares. You, right. I see him in so a purple, purple flares. Like he never had purple flares. He had a purple flares. He had a purple flares. He had a purple blazer on. He had a purple blazer on and a big white shirt. Right? That's one outfit. Now, how many other outfits can everybody name that they remember clearly of Prince's? I can. No, because you're the biggest <laughs> fan. You, who? How much can everyone else name? Me not trust Hello, girls. What? You got three. Name them. Let's see if any. Um, purple suit. Really? Yeah, that, I just, that's nah, one. That's, I've already said that. Yeah, that's one. Still wait, that wait, 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 wait. That's one, yeah. I've got an iconic outfit. Go on, let's see. Um, a black suit. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to back you up. <laughs> when he had his bum out. Do you remember when he used to wear them trousers with the <laughs> bum cut out? <laughs> None of them boy there. That's her? He used to have one where he had... No, you know what? Well, I remember the band team with the, the flares and he had the cowboy oh, yeah. with the thing. I remember that one still. Prince I do remember that one. And do you remember when he, when he had the leggings thing? with all the buttons up the side? Do you remember that? No, you went And when he used to wear there. his hair like with the little S curl, do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that S curl. I remember his hair. That was from hair. the parade album. what I'm saying is... And then do you remember when he was naked and he had long hair and it was relaxed and he used to have it like flipped? I don't remember. That's something I don't want to remember. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying? Prince was a sister. Sounds like 
Prince was one of the sisters. Oh, you know what? You know what? I used to think he had many looks. Yeah, he was a gallus still. I used to think he liked man. I never knew he was the biggest gallus. I didn't know. Biggest gallus. And then I found out that he didn't want to do the bad video because Michael wanted to say to him, your bird is mad. Exactly. He said he's not doing it. Exactly. I didn't know that. Do you know that? He that's said, blood. Exactly. That's why Prince turned down the role in the video. Prince said, Michael can't sing that to me. You're mad. That's when I realised this brother was a serious man. Serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he ain't got as many iconic outfits as MJ. I, I disagree. MJ's got the red leather. I disagree. He's got the hats. He's got the white He's just got the red leather. That's I it. Disagree. He's got the way you're I making me feel the shirt. I, I, got so- I disagree. But that's because you're a Michael Jackson fan. No, I like Prince. Prince. And I love Prince, Prince as well. I love no. Prince. What, you think Prince's spend on videos is better than Michael's? No, I don't no, think his spend was better. But Michael's videos were better. No, I don't agree. He had some very iconic... You can't ex- do he had some very wrong. iconic... Prince. Ex- no, no. <laughs> I'm not disputing that he didn't have some very iconic, expensive videos. Like, Michael Jackson, I think, was one of the first artists to make videos that look like movies. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like he was one yeah, of the first... Yeah. I'll give him that, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But... Prince equally had some very iconic videos. No, yeah, he nah, did. but no, nah, but did. Michael was my. He did have I'm the budget, the but maybe he's like, I ain't spending that much money on a video when I can buy a new guitar. Yeah, Prince was a G. I remember. So you're all scene. about the Prince industry. Isn't it? You know all about the industry. Not really. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's, it's changed so much since no, I, was I was in it. Ask, I was going to ask you, how do you think it's changed? How do you see it? How do you see the change? In it? I what think do you the see? internet and kind of like social media has really changed it a lot that I am not familiar with. Has, has it, it made it better or has it made it worse? I think in some ways it's made it better because obviously, you know, a lot of people can take their own careers into their own hands because mm-hmm. they can use the internet as a, as a forum, as a medium to kind of promote themselves without needing a major deal. Definitely. I've, and I've, in a I bad way, I would say music doesn't sell as much anymore because everyone's streaming or oh, watching stuff online, you know. So. But do they not still get money for streaming? You do, but I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I think... You know, like one radio play equates to like 10 streams or something. So it's not the same. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so like you will get royalties, but it's not the same as like if it got played on the radio. I think depending on the radio station, maybe you might get 30p if they play your whole song. But a stream, I think maybe they have to play it at least 10 times before you get any. It's like a 10 to 1 ratio. You think think the new ways empowered artists more or less? In some ways, it has empowered artists more, yes. Yeah. But then also, I think labels have got hip to it. So now there's like 360 deals, which didn't exist in my day. What is a 360 deal? Where they basically take a percentage of like all your social media and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Your whole wow. round. Yeah, so like you can't have a YouTube or an Insta. Without and, them involved in it. Yeah, yeah. that they want, oh, they want a piece wow. of that. They pay you first, so you get a lump sum. Some first. And then well, no, but that's, um, that's an advance. Okay, so no, when no, you no, was no, coming no, up. With the 360, you get a higher advance. Now. That depends on who you are, babes. True. <laughs> so you see when you because they're not up. giving the type of advances that they used to give back in my day, unless you are like a huge artist. Well, when you, you were coming up, it was advance. all about the deal. I got signed for the half deal. a mil. Oh, you said. Wow. But I'm saying people seldom get signed for that really Ooh. nowadays. Do you know what I mean? See, that's what it was all about when you was coming up. Numbers. The deal, the deal, the deal. Yeah, but now I mean, because they're not making it back, are they? Really? It's tour money now, though, isn't it? Mm. Everyone, everyone, shows. Yeah, because man, get man are doing big shows now. Yeah, I think that's my main revenue stream, like performances. Yeah, and and, and merchandise. Yeah. Are you selling merch? Yeah, I sell merch. What do you sell? Got little dollies and I've got a couple of t-shirts. Oh, lie. Yeah. I did yeah. You should have bought you some have bought true. true. Oh. It would have been nice. Oh. Showed them off and all that. Oh. Definitely. <laughs> if you could change anything about the industry, what would you change? If I could change anything about the industry. If you were the CEO of the industry, of the music industry. Um, I would probably really, make it. What would you change? I would probably make it less kind of um, based upon how people look, because I think there are so many talented people out there that don't that. get as much love and shine because they might not fit the mold of what you know music execs think um, a music pop star should look like. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's kind of changing slowly anyway. I think the internet is kind of helping with that, mm. but um, yeah. Would you like another drink, man. I'm okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I think that's something I'd like to change. That it's more about the talent. Instead of the image. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe that as well yeah. still. And that's what's kind of made me ask the question that like, has natural beauty gone out the window? Oh, God, yes. It's a thing of the past, isn't it? 
it's hilarious. But then I was having this conversation every day with some of my friends, and I was saying, but actually, when you go back, like throughout time, there was a time when I'm I'm not sure what century it is, and I don't want to make myself a fool to say at the century that it was. Mm -hmm. But do you remember when all the aristocracy used to go around wearing the bustles under their skirts? They looked like they had big bums. Yeah, yeah. And then they all used to have really high foreheads because yeah. that was the look. They used to use some white powder, and it used to erode their hairline. Mm -hmm. And then they had, and so that was the in thing. Mm -hmm. So there's always been an in thing, and then right now the in thing is just fake. Fake. And that is Fakery. the real in thing. Yeah. You don't even meet a person; you meet their representative. <laughs> You meet them the morning after. That's what, that's what you meet them. That is my story. No, I hear that. I hear that. The world's changing in yeah. a mad way. So, all right. You see what's going on with the drill scene? Is is it the same as what was happening with Garage back in the day? Okay, right. Because they're blaming you it need, for violence. You need to and, elaborate. All right. So, back back in my day, I remember they used to blame Garage for violence. Like, so solid and yeah. all of them now. Now, on the drill scene, yet again... It's a different genre, but it's mm. another one of our genres. Mm. And they're saying that it's blaming for violence yet again. Do you believe that it, do you believe that it's to blame for the violence? I think art imitates life and life imitates art. So it's self-perpetuating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good answer. That's a very good answer. Mm. Some slow people ain't gonna get it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean my experience with Garage was that actually it was all happy and it was all love and it was all positive. And then there were those people that come along because they're like, oh, it's the in thing. And they spoilt the vibes. Why are you looking yeah. at me? Why am I pointing at me? <laughs> Why am I pointing at me? But they're the ones that spot. Like, it wasn't like that originally. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they came Like up. Dubai. Dubai's fucked now. They came Dubai's over. The vibes. Yeah, yeah, How you feeling? Yeah, 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 you, 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 you wouldn't go to Dubai now, would you? I, I like Dubai. Going, have you seen what's going on out there? What's going on I out love there? Dubai, really but right now, Dubai's moving Dubai like it's... Dubai lockdown is gangland. Moving at the end. It's Chirac. Really? Hey, I see a thing the other day. I see a thing the other day that says. Right now, for real. Yeah. See, you know my phone this week. My friend with, lives and works out there. My friend I just see a went thing out the other there day. on holiday. My phone this week is filled with nothing but gang violence yeah, no, from Dubai. Post, I see a post but saying. Who is in a gang I in Dubai? Swear to Kelly. I don't want to mention nobody's your name. Kids? Yeah, that, that's two of them. Yeah, Kelly. thank you. Two of them. How many you got? Three. 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 Don't. Why is that? You're dropping them. I see a post. I see a post that says Dubai this year looks like a drug dealer's convention yeah and it actually and, does and, and, and like, only fans madness. and only fans something and only fans something that's what he said i remember it oh that's please don't say it's predominantly black people that are there though that's what's going on oh that's a bit sad They're fighting in hotel lobbies beefing on the airplane fighting on the beach, on the beach they're having punch yeah it's, it's in all of this they don't do us any favors do they no, they don't. we've just had a they whole don't. big movement and then there are these people like that that just set it back like and just behind to where we came from Definitely. and then you know you can't you can't blame I, I, I you know certain people them. for assuming that as black people we are the way we are because they make it bad for us and they're only going to see those examples they're not going to look at the positive examples are they no definitely it's been a definitely. mad week definitely it's, it's not definitely been a mad week what do you isn't that what we're here for yeah what do you, <laughs> what, what do you look for in a man you as a Saucy woman. What do time. I look for in a man? The list is long, you know. I want to hear it. The list is long. Why, are you single? Oh, you say you're a fussy yeah, I am. Woman? I am single. You're fussy. Is that because you being fussy or? I would say I'm fussy, mm. but that's just because I know my worth. Okay. You know. Whenever they say they know their worth, it's, it's beef. problems. It's beef. <laughs> No, but <laughs> let's be real. Definitely. Let's be real. I'm a big grown woman. Yeah, I mean, so you know what you. I know want. myself. No, like, that's good. That's good. It but took a while, but I do know myself. No, you should always know. Your, you should always know your worth, yeah. But you should never need to tell anybody that. You should always. You should always prove that with your actions. But so, you so asked me you a see, question and I answered it. You see, Mm -hmm. You could have said you just I just do my thing. Why? Why, 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 why do I have to say that? No, you are asking me a question. I'm going to answer it. I want to hear your type. Okay. What do you go for in a man? Sure. I want to. I like this. a man who's solvent. I like a man who's intelligent. I like a man that can teach me things. I like men that can do DIY because I love DIY. I like men that like to travel. I like men that are funny, but my kind of funny, not mm. their kind of funny. Because <laughs> some people are a little bit slapstick funny. I'm more sophisticated humour funny. Yeah. Um, uh, we don't have to have the same kind of... Um, 
Like, we don't have to like the same things because I think it's sometimes nice when people teach you things you never knew yeah, yeah. and you teach them things they never knew. Definitely. Um, somebody who likes to watch a box set every now and again and just chill. Mm. I love to cook because it's someone who enjoys a home-cooked meal. Do you consider yourself a good cook, yeah? I'm an amazing cook. What's your, what's your signature dish? I've got many signature oh, dishes. Really? Yeah, I make a mean laxa. Um, oh, my new thing, my new thing is chicken what's casserole. What's a laksa? <laughs> oh, a laksa is a curry coconut soup. It's a Malaysian dish. Oh, wow, that's yeah. tough. Yeah. Malaysian so, stuff? Yeah. You're continental with it. Um, that. Yeah, what else? What else? Go on, tell us what else you do. <laughs> oh, my new thing at the moment is chicken casserole with cheesy dumplings. Oh, really? Like, real, like, hearty, like, English fair Who win- taught you winter to do food. That? My mum taught me to cook, and then I just kind of enjoyed it, and I just... Where are your parents? You know, from? I just did my thing, innit? You just did your thing. <laughs> Where are your parents from? Um, my dad was born here, my mum's Jamaican. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What's your favourite Caribbean Jamaican dish? I cool. love ackee and saltfish. I do. Yeah, I love ackee and saltfish. What's your favourite? Cool. Hard food or rice? I, I like fried dumplings and plantains. Oh dear. That's my, oh, yeah, that's that my jam. Of, the morning ackee and saltfish type of girl. And you know, like, the plantings that are black, like they're almost they like they've got right. fur on them. Right. But you wash off the fur and yeah, and then they crisp, and then the, the sugary bits and it just crystallizes yeah, 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 and makes yeah. it crispy. Right. Yeah, I'm not that guy, you know. Yeah, I'm not really like a plant plant like Some that. people don't like sweet plantings. I don't no, know where they come I don't from. Like my planting like that. It's too floppy. And I don't know where those people come from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like don't sweet food. Like still, that. it's not my thing. But yeah, I like that's how I like my plantings. Oh, is it? Yeah. So any more, any more, any more signature you? dishes? And then back to what you've Oh, found. I'm really good at cocktails as well. I love making cocktails. Oh, do you? Yeah. What's your fave? Um, I'm, I like like mojito type cocktails, so like sweet, sour. <laughs> <laughs> back, back to the man. What do you, what do you, yeah, Why, yeah, are, you, yeah. are you selling yourself? No, no, no. Are you no, free? No, 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 What's no, going no, on? No, no, I'm not selling myself. Okay. Selling myself. Is your girlfriend watching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching. Still. Man's like, what kind of man? Right, right, go on, go on. Yeah. What else you want? I just want to know what you look for, innit? Um, I don't actually visually have a type in the sense of like, I don't only date black men. I used to, oh, but yeah. then I came out of that. So I, I've dated a Hungarian. I've dated a Persian. Like, I swear yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm liberal. Do you watch Night like Day Fiance? Men. Do you watch Night Day Fiance? No. Oh no, you need to watch that. Oh, I'll check it out. Yeah, there's I'll a woman that's similar to you. She's dating a guy from Jordan. Okay. Yeah, and he's How's fully. It going? Is he Muslim? Yeah. She's strict. Does she Muslim. have to be Muslim married? Yeah, no, but <clears> she's a she's a she's a video girl. Oh, that's going to work yeah, out. Exactly. That's what makes it fun. You get Made me? in I heaven. Even watch that. That's what makes it fun. You've been me? telling me to watch that. So, yeah, cool. So, that's what you're looking for in your man, yeah? Mm. As long as he can do DIY and sit down and have two jokes with you and watch two boxes. I want someone right. who just, like, wants to be in love. Because a lot of men don't want to be in love. Do you go for older or younger guys? Both. Oh, is it? Yeah. You haven't got a preference that. No. Do you have any children? No. Don't you? I'm ripe for procreation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? <laughs> because I ain't got long left. <laughs> no, I'm not that. <laughs> no, not that. No, not that. Why have you had no children yet? I've just been busy. Oh, is it? Do you like children though? Yeah, I love children. Yeah. I'm an avid godparent and auntie. And um, I'm actually really broody right now. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that's mad stuff. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> 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 I'm just here busting up. <laughs> Funny, actually, my ex, he's, he just had a baby with his new girlfriend. Are you pissed with him? No. I don't, I don't, I don't want a baby with him. He was cray cray. Oh, was he? Yeah. Cray. He was possessive. I don't like possessive men. Wow. I like men that are like are you possessive? confident. Let you to be hell free. no. I like men that are, you are like jealous? confident. Are you a jealous nah. woman? You're not. I'm not going to say I haven't Everybody been. Everybody has. No, I'm going to say I'm not going to say I haven't been. When it all I was depends younger, how much you love mm-hmm. them. When I was younger, but no, I don't think um, loving someone equates with jealousy. I feel like if you love someone, you need to let them be them. And I think being with somebody who didn't allow me to be me or didn't want me to be me, didn't like me being me, it showed me on the opposite side of what it feels like when you do that to someone else. Like you, like you shouldn't be with someone if you don't like how they are. 
you should be with someone else. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Makes all the sense. And I'm a free to spirit. Makes all the sense. Though, and with what I do for my job, I cannot be with someone who's insecure or yeah, jealous definitely. or possessive. Because you're on the road. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. See you in know the what music I mean? video, I want to beat up everyone that's in it. Yeah, what? it's just Turn not going to work. Set. My head's up on set. Yeah. <laughs> no. And I, I, you know what? I do appreciate that it's not easy dating somebody who does what I do. So... You know, in the past, I've, I've, I've been a little bit lenient, but ultimately, no, I don't feel anyone that does what I do can be with somebody like who's too possessive. Mm. Yeah, you need makes to be someone that, that you have loves to have what balance. you do and understands what you do. No, and, you sense. know, it does come down to like trust and honesty and communication as well. Because, yeah, sometimes the things are going to come, uh, you know, come up and you're going to be like, actually, no, Lala. You know, you're going to have conversations. Have you ever broke a man's trust? <clears throat> um, have I ever broken a man's trust? Mm, yes. No. Intentionally. No, kind of, but no. <laughs> kind of, huh? I'm going to go into the scenario, right? <clears throat> so my ex, he was possessive, yeah? Mm. So this happened yeah, sometimes. Not waiting outside your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's moved on. He's just had his new baby. So that <clears throat> so that this, don't mean that he's moved on. He's moved on. He's happy, man. He's a dad. Uh, so... <laughs> You he hope. is no he's happy you he's hope. happy no he is happy he's happy i'm happy for him because he wanted a baby i didn't want a baby with him so he's had a new baby with his new girl and but now happy. you're in a rush to have one now no i'm not in a rush if not I'm in a rush to... but you you you, you i you, want to find a husband you versus i don't want a clock. baby maker ah that's good. i would find if i can't if i don't have kids i'll adopt that's not a problem mm. do you know what i mean but i'm just saying yes i am like ready now to have kids whereas before i was more concentrated on other things mm. but basically we were out and this does happen a lot I don't, I don't know. I think it happens to women in general, but you. I don't know. You guys have probably done it, but you know when you say hello to a woman and you butt swipe her. What's that? So you like you say hi, oh, hi, and then or you take a picture, and then as you take, you put your arm there, but you kind of swipe her butt as you move your hand away. Never don't know that. about them things there. All right. So never, never does that happen to you, ladies? Anyone. Have you been butt swiped before many times? They're thank like, you. Yeah, 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 we don't, don't do that right now. <laughs> We don't do that right now. You, you guys don't do that. Them uninvited approaches. No, 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 no. No invite. No invite. No means no. No invite. Yeah. No. No, me too. Yeah, no. So I was out at an, at an event and the DJ guy butt swiped me. But because I knew I that my man would kick off. I pretended that I didn't notice that he butt swiped me. Wait, is this a thing, this butt swipe? It's happened to me right Clearly it is. Clearly it is. We didn't know about it. That's a real thing. They've all named it. But no, swipe. Butt swipe. I named it. I don't know what other women call it, but that's what I call it. Butt swipe. But, you know, under normal circumstances, if I was by myself, I would have been like, yo, fam, watch your hands. Do you know what I mean? And that would have been that. I would have reprimanded him. But because he was there and I was like, if I reprimand him, he's going to jump in now and he's going to be like, oh, blah, 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 and then it, it could kick off. So I just thought the best thing to do under this circumstance is just to pretend that I didn't realise that he butt swiped me. So then he was like, yo, are you going to pretend? It. Yeah, he, he saw, saw it. it. He, yo. And so I had Level. to like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so I had yeah. to act like... Yeah. Yeah. I lied, didn't it? I was like, what do you mean? I didn't see any. He was like, you're lying. He like he touched your butt, la, la, la. And then I had to admit and I had to apologise. And then I apologised profusely because he was absolutely right. But I said, the reason why I did it is because I didn't want to reprimand him in front of you. And then you'd be like, yo, what's going on? And then jump in. And then, you know when two men are hot-headed and it all kicks off? And I'm at work. Yeah. And he's kicked off before yeah, yeah, in nah, my place of work. Man, man, man he swiped my girl in front of me. Yeah, no. He, I'm definitely locking horns with him. kicked off before in my We're place We're definitely work, locking horns. It's, it's lock horn season. Like embarrassing. Embarrassing. Oh, but that's what's, that's what, do you know what's worse? The fact that you tried to hide it. I know. Made it look I like know. you enjoyed the butt swipe. No, that's what I'm saying. No, but that's what I'm saying. I've got to put my hands up and say I was in the wrong way. I was. Could make but a, it's because I was trying to like placate a situation. No, you could make a man insecure by doing that. Like, oh, well, he was insecure without is, me. He I'm, didn't I'm need a <laughs> butt swipe to show his insecurity. Butt swipe, like, well, is this what she does when she's out? Like, like, go home thinking and tripping like that. <clears throat> Next thing you know, he's, he's going through your phone. Do you know what? I, I used to always say to him, if I need you, you'll know I need you. Like, I can handle myself. I've been doing this for a long time by myself. Yep. I can, you know what I mean? But it was just no, under normal circumstances, I would have said, yo, watch your hand, fam. But it's because he was in, I was like, if I say yo, he'd be like, what do you mean, watch your hand? And then it would have kicked off. And then you got Because I just knew him. So I was just like, I was just, the best thing to do is pretend it didn't happen. Hope he didn't see it. When but doing, sorry. When doing and the got, right thing goes wrong. I get catch. You yeah. get me? I get yeah, catch. Nah, that's the maddest part, My intentions so. were good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're hey, doing did you the right leave you after that did he leave me after that or was that always an issue 
Um, he was did it just, always get brought up in well, an argument? He did bring it up many times after. Wow. Wow. Man was touching up your body in the rave. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know the thing about, you know, the irony, you know the thing about them men, mm. they're the ones that are getting up to the most. You reckon? Yeah, he was getting up to the most. He was. Wow. Who are better cheaters, men or women? Women. See, oh, we see. Yeah. You w- thought women are better liars. Tell me why we're stupid. Because you're just stupid, it's, man. No, tell me, tell me. When, tell a man is, when a man is cheating, he's just rubbish at it. He's rubbish at it. And this is why, like, when you've got a good woman, you really need to, like, cherish her. Because if she wants to do you dirty, you will never no, know. Definitely. You will never know. No, no, Trust definitely, me. definitely, definitely. As, I I've said, as I've said previously. We will phone it. Every gal in our phone book could be like, yo, if Peter calls, yeah, ra ta ta te 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 like you like so you'll find the whole it. I'll be phone like, books in on it. You'll phone my yeah, friend yeah, and then we'll have a cover story. Babe, I the know whole this. phone books in on it. But you I know I'll this. phone your friend, your friend be like, uh what you said what? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's with me in it. Because you don't you don't cover your ass, man. The whole Even you yeah. will be starring. Nah, you do it. I agree with you. You're like, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know what it is? That is a real thing still. I've always stood by that. Women, they are the fucking generals at this The greasiest. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I prefer to use to my powers grave. for good. I don't like to use my powers for bad. And I believe in karma. Like, karma's a real thing, in it? Have you ever cheated on your, any of your partners? I have. Oh, wow. But because I was cheated on, so I thought I Got should... Got him back. Yeah, but it didn't make me feel better. And so it's something I wouldn't do. I would just leave you. And, like, if you cheated on me, I'd just, I'd just exit the situation. At the time, I was young. I thought cheating back would make me feel better, and it didn't. Mm. Yeah. You see? It's a good look still. I respect it. You sound like you've grown. Mature. I'm a grown-ass woman. That's what I'm telling you. I respect I've done the work. I've done life coaching. (laughs) So when's your album album coming out? Um, I was trying to bring it out early this year, but obviously Rona happened. Yeah, yeah, And then... It was actually an EP, but now I've made it an LP. So in this time, I've been in studio and I've recorded an extra four tracks. Okay. Um, That's what's made the album. Yeah. What's the vibe? I mean, I mean, it's different now because it's love. In- love. <laughs> no. no, no. So this album is called La Rock Music Volume One, mm-hmm. and it's called like the the title is called Pop Electro, which okay. is like pop soul retro. Okay. So this okay. album's all live. It's a full live band. I've got a three piece horn section, and I just wanted to make music that was like really timeless and nostalgic, and also kind of. You know, had that kind of thing like, I know this song, don't I? But you don't really know it because it's a brand new song. All you know, of them are brand new. Yeah, but it's got that vibe about it. Like, mm, this song sounds familiar. Mm. Do you have any features on there? No, it's all me. Oh, is it? It's all me, yeah. And yeah, so, yeah, there's like like straight up pop songs on there. I just thought I wanted to do some stuff that's just a little bit like, like I said, like you hear it in 10 times and it still sounds You had new. one bad boy house tune. What one? That. Do that dance that, that you That is a bad way she's when yeah. you Why did you only drop that one? To, um I do loads of things. I just I'm about vibes and passion in it. So if I'm in something, I just I'll jump on board. And it's so funny, I've done so much stuff and it's just like what what kind of bubbles to the surface. I've done loads of stuff with flukes, like flukes bring out our stuff. We've got some wicked tunes. We've got a tune called First Sight. We did kind of like soft release it. If you go online and search for it, it's a big tune, man. Yeah, no, yeah. that that tune there that you're just singing it, that's a tough, tough. That's yeah. got to be one of my favorite house tunes. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank a tough you. Tune still. See, if a woman you cuts, don't know. see if a woman cuts her hair, should she consult her man about it first? Ask, ask Jenny because Jenny's hair touches her bum and she's cut it like to her ears. Don't Do you lie, Jenny. Did you ask your man before you did it? Alright, cool. Oh, I was Jenny. just asking. I didn't, I didn't want no beef about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's a question. A book. Do you, if you had a man, would you consult your man before you cut your hair? Um, why? I think as black women, anyway, like we wear wigs, we wear extensions, we wear our own hair. Like a lot of us are very natural at the moment. I'm natural. So what do we need to consult for? And my own natural hair is really long. What's there to consult yeah, about? So I don't understand. Just, yeah, but if you're just going to say, who's going to change Do you know one thing about that? some black women, though? They actually do wear wigs and they have got hair underneath. It's not like yeah. they just yeah, got some all bald picky bits. Yeah, some they of them actually know. do I have good hair underneath. I did contemplate dyeing my hair this colour. <laughs> um, but I have to bleach it and I'm, I'm not prepared for that. I think the, the fact that I don't relax my hair anymore 
I don't want to put chemicals in it and then I'm going to yeah, go bleach yeah, it. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so I'm just like, carry on wearing your wigs. See, yeah, everyone's woke. I, I love stuff. that, you know. Yeah. No bleach, the world you know. has changed though because no when you chemicals. was growing up in school, as I've mentioned before, this whole big lip, bubble lip, rubber lip stuff. We had our like, own hair at school. Now sometimes when I go past schools, like like when they come, enough of the girl, them have got wigs, wig yeah, and yeah, weave yeah, and extension yeah, and eyelash and yeah. finger nails. And then the girls like, were getting their lips done. Yeah, we were all natural at school, man. Like None of that stuff was allowed. No, natural's gone now still. It is. Is, is, my daughter's a bit of a tomboy and I kind of rate that I won't lie to you because she my don't wear no makeup How old and is none she? of that 16 mm. so she's pretty much into her football and she's out having a, a third son so to speak you get me so that I'm kind of happy about obviously I get pissed off when we're rolling out and <laughs> she wants to roll out looking all tomboyish but other than that <laughs> you get me I can't I can't complain I, I had tomboy tendencies when I was younger but I also used to do dancing so then when you do dancing you wear all the costumes and stuff what's your favourite sport I'm not really a sporty person you know? no when I say tomboyish I used to like climbing and riding my bike and, oh, and stuff yeah and I like DIY I've always yeah. liked yeah, from what type kid. of like um, decorating and um, making stuff like I made my dining table in my house oh did you I've got a breakfast bar I can tell you that, that type made. of girl that you're quite eccentric so to speak like your rings and I am a bit eccentric <laughs> yeah, I I'll, I'll accept that, that. I think yeah. that's a compliment yeah, thank I you can, can my friend that. calls me K-centric Oh, is it? Yeah, so that's I'll it. accept that. You so you made your coffee table in your house and what else? Um, I made my breakfast bar. I made my dining table. I, um, I did my epoxy resin floors myself. I watched videos on YouTube. All had... in quarantine? Oh. No, no, no. Just, oh, I just mean, in just, general? Yeah, in general. And then I like I designed my garden, although it's mash up now because I had bamboo, then I had rats, and it's just, yeah, all my garden's mash up at the moment. But I designed it myself from scratch. Um, and then I redid my kitchen. I didn't like my kitchen, so I just redid it all. And on your yeah. own, yeah? No, I did some yeah, of it on myself, and then some <laughs> of it I had done. Yeah, the flooring I had done, and then I I got, like, all new backsplash, and I had that done. Okay. The things that I'm, I'm like, if I do it, I'll do it messily. I'll get someone in. But I'm I'm quite happy to get stuck in. Hands on. Very That's hands on. Look. Like painting, decorating, all of that. I'm involved. That's well, a good look. Nice I'm looking for a decorator right now still. Who hey, is? I'm expensive. Your oh, yeah. favourite female singer of all time Shaka Khan Shaka Khan yeah mm. no one else just definitely Shaka There's I no, agree with you if I you had to name you. if you had to name your top three because you can't just females or in general females and then we'll go to males after alright I would say Shaka Khan mm-hmm. I would say Tina Marie there's quite a few though. I'm trying to think of maybe the songs of theirs that I like. Mm-hmm. Um, Tata Vega. Okay. Never heard of Tata. She's in very my old life. school. Is very. It? Yeah. I can't remember none of the songs. What about Mel? Name. Prince. Obviously. <clears throat> Lufa. Mm-hmm. Lufa. Mm, and. I dug him out the other day. Oh my God. Like they just don't make music. Like I was saying, actually music nowadays is shit. Like compared to music from back in the day. There's not really R&B. There's not really, I don't really see like. Like this drill music. Could you play that in 20 years and be like, oh my God, this (laughs) music's so amazing. It's so beautiful. Do you know what I'm saying? People are going to be walking down the aisle to drill. You think about Lufa and Lufa's like, oh, like he still touches you. Like So you're just all old school, isn't it? Not that I'm all old school. I just appre- uh, appreciate artistry, mm. and that was real artistry. Yeah, definitely. I'm not. I'm not actually taking anything away from what everyone else is doing because it's an art, art form is an art it's form. Yeah, art. and it's yeah. their interpretation of their their experiences, and it's real to them as it is happening now in 2020. Yeah, yeah. But I just feel like, you know, there's some things that are just they're just premium. There's premium. They're just like sure. a next level. Do you know? No, what I mean? One more to name. Oh, so I said Lufa, Prince. Um, I like Rick James. Yeah. Yeah. Rick James is yeah. a bad boy. Still. Yeah. That's, I mean, to be fair, I like so many different artists. So when it comes to like my absolute fave, it's always going to be Prince. That list is and eclectic. actually, Michael Jackson, Off the Wall, is one of my favourite albums. Oh, is it? Gotta yeah. be. You still play it now? Yeah, I Gotta do. Gotta be. I do. 
I play. I still play Michael Jackson. I don't play R. Kelly anymore. What music do you drive to? You don't deal with Robert. I don't play Robert anymore. What music? No, we've got hardcore evidence against him. Michael Jackson is still in the like. Do you know what I'll ask you? You see the music industry. I've heard a lot of stuff about it. Obviously, a lot of doom and glooms and it's all. Like, isn't life like that though? No, definitely, but not from them type someone of who's being dreams. a part of it, have you seen these stuff? Even this whole like young girls being groomed by artists. Oh my god. All of this stuff. It's all coming out now. I believe it's always happening. Let me tell you out. something. Oh, uh, uh, this is <laughs> Spill the tea. I spill the tea. You know why? I'm, you know why? I'm, you know why I'm gonna spill the tea? I'm gonna spill the tea because he's probably never gonna watch this. Yeah, but I'm gonna spill the tea. Yeah, I'm atting him. Poor C. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a certain individual who was at my label, my independent label that I was at. And he never, ever was untoward. He never spoke to me inappropriately. He never touched me inappropriately. But he would always take me around with him. And he would always be like, it's me and you, babe. Get spilled, babe. Fuck all those cunts. Don't worry about it. It's me and you, babe. Like, like, oh, was he a black guy by any chance? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see if I was a certain type of individual, he could very easily have groomed me, you know? And what I will say is, like a lot of the other artists that they had under their roster, he, he had relationships with all of them. He didn't wow. have a relationship with me. Wow. And like I said, he was never untoward. He never forced anything on me. He was never overtly sexual. Nothing like that ever happened. But you can see how easily it happens. Because Maybe if you're because a certain, mind savvy. No, but it's, as well, if you're a certain type of girl and you're like, I want to be famous by any means necessary, a man's you telling you me shit. and you're against the world... We gotta stop yeah, tiptoeing yeah, around yeah, yeah. You got any opinions on the boy Dachavelli? <laughs> we gotta she stop coughed. tiptoeing. You gotta, Do coughed. you know what? Just an opinion. I facts. just think it's a real big shame because he's not a fucking ugly guy, and his voice is sexy as fuck. And I don't understand what happened there because he could have probably any girl right now. Um, so I'm just gonna hope it's a, all a big misunderstanding. Although it doesn't look like it is. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. But I'm just hoping it's all a a big misunderstanding and man will... I know what I think. Overcome it. Yeah. Because it's just a shame. Because it's just like, number one, it's a shame because your career was on our ups. And it's a shame because you should know fucking better. Especially as someone who's got kids of your own. Like, I don't respect that. But Mm. like I said, uh, the verdicts... Hey, done it. Barn him, he done it. I d- done you know it. what? It's not your opinion, it's mine. No, it's but I'm me. saying I haven't seen else. all the evidence to see like, nah, and read man. into it. Because you know, you know how easy it is for, it's like the Bible, Someone isn't it? It's like you can it. go into the Bible and the internet into, is exactly the same and you can find for and against mm-hmm. equally mm-hmm. as strong mm-hmm. and intense. Definitely. Do you know what I'm saying? Definitely. What's so, your opinion on it? Wait a minute, stop. My opinion what, what, on what it is, if he done it, obviously fire on the thing, innit? But you see what it is. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of things that have might have been edited and put. I don't know the thing. Obviously, how if come it you is, ain't said nothing? If it is how, how it's made to seem, how come you ain't said nothing? That's a pussy. How thing. come you ain't said a thing about it? He how did come, say something. Wait, he said if you if you rap and shave my name, that was all he said. He ain't said. He hasn't addressed. Yeah. He, as, to, as, to be as, fair, he should have tried big, to clear his name a little bit wait, better wait, than he wait, has. Wait, wait, wait. As the big man that he is, right? He's a big up and coming artist right now. For this year, he would have probably been the biggest. He would have probably been the yeah, biggest yeah. UK rap artist yeah, yeah. this year to come. I come voted forth. for him on the there UK mix max. Yeah, yeah. There you go, right? So if this if this situation is not true, and he knows it's not true, don't you think he should come to the light and clear it up? Because that would be the first thing I would do. Um, I declare can, my innocence. I completely agree with you. Um, but you know, every man do his thing a little way different. I don't know. You might just Maybe know what? Hold a press every man conference. definitely do their thing a little way different. <laughs> Maybe they to hold a press conference. I don't know. It's too long now. She it's said been a ages. press conference. <laughs> he's, in, he's in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. He's in, yeah, he's in yeah, Dubai. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I can't listen. Me as a man, if somebody makes that kind of statement about me, nothing is more important. That's got to get than clear clearing that before I go to Dubai. That is. That's, that's I can't life mean Dubai and have fun and knowing if, that if, this is if what's If it turns out to be true, his life's over. It's, it's finished. Mm. So it's a li- that's a life-changing well, situation. Well, let's be honest. 
he hasn't done anything. There's been evidence of possible grooming. So maybe this is a wake up call. No, nah, that's something. That's where he was heading. That's something. No, no, no. I mean, grooming isn't an offence though, is it? I'm sh- I'm is, it, is grooming an offence? Yeah. Grooming is an offence. Yeah. I don't think grooming yeah, is an offence. Grooming is an offence. You can get nicked for that. Not, no, no, but not the type of grooming he no, was doing. No, remember, remember that. that hey, remember no, that but program. There was, it wasn't, remember the paedophile hunters. There was no hunters. sexual chat though, was Remember it? the paedophile hunters. The uh, paedophile, no, but there was they, no... They, they get them nicked no, for grooming. No, 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 no. But there was no sexual chat in his in his, in his his whatever. It was just... Not what I saw. It was seemingly inappropriate. Not what I saw. Started talking about toes. He's not actually done anything illegal. Boy, it's morally wrong and more fire for Okay, him. but it's not legally wrong what I, he's done. I, 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 I'm not saying it makes I, it right. I'm just saying that hopefully if this is a big wake up call for him mm. and if he has got some nonce energy going on, he she shuts said it down. Nonce energy. <laughs> he That's shuts the it down. Hardest. Aye. That is the hardest. He shuts it down right yeah. now. Did you see the meme, Dutch nah, Kelly? I Did see, you see no, the no, meme. No. I see the meme. <laughs> That's your name, Dr. Kelly. That's what they called him. Sitting on a bed. But that's my name. Don't say that. No, <laughs> because of the rock. I know. I know. I know. Come on. Oh, Kelly, I see a meme of him sitting on a chair today with Jimmy Savile sitting next to him. <laughs> I said the, the oh, internet is cold. Oh, no, yeah. I yeah. I don't know who yeah, finds the time cold, to do dude. these things sometimes. I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm like, who has the time to do these things? Oh, well, you know, these things do happen in the industry, though, yeah? Yes, they do. Of course they do. And it's been going on. For many years, yeah. and it, and you know, I'm glad that people are being held accountable finally for these types of things because mm. it goes on more often. But can I just say, and I am not slut shaming anyone, like because I'm a woman and I'm always going to put women first. But if Harvey Harvey Weinstein got his dick out and said, "If you want this role, suck my dick," I'll be like, "See you later, fam. I'm not going to suck your dick. Get the role." Then ten years later, say when I'm a big Hollywood A lister, you made me suck your dick for the role, I'm and. Good. I'm, I'm, just not, I'm not sucking but there's, people, but there's people who have done that. Yeah, but now they're Hollywood A-listers. He kept his side of the bargain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? He was a fair exchange. I know there were some women that he, you know, he raped and that's obviously awful. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying, but the ones that he was like, suck my dick for the role. You sucked his, you sucked his dick for the role. You got the role. You're a, you're a millionaire. You're a Hollywood A-lister. And you're, now you're moaning about it. Just, I'm not sucking Harvey Weinstein's dick for a fucking roll. Yeah, it's mad. He it? can suck his own dick. Nah, it's fucking mad. Is <laughs> that real? Is that real? No, no but industry, that's me. You know, you know the saying, Doppy knows who's for frightened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doppy knows who's for frightened. 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 Doppy knows who's for would you really believe he got his ribs taken out? No. You tell us. That was talk. You know everything about That's him. That's nonsense. That was talk. It's chat. Was that rubbish? That was, the thing, sir. was that rubbish that he got his nonsense. ribs taken out so he could do his own thing? Yeah. That's I was nonsense. They told, I believe that. That was like when I heard Michael Jackson was in the time capsule and he was going to live forever. Like, I remember but that But we stuff. saw Michael Jackson in a picture in the time yeah, capsule. Yeah, but was that Did anyone real? see Prince with two less ribs? Uh, how are you going to see that? Because he's always used to take his top off. <laughs> and he looked like he never had the right amount of ribs. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked like he had two, he like two, he had two on one missing. side and one on the other side. If you can suck your own dick, why the fuck not? Oh, fuck it, no much. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't condone, hey, I, I don't, hey, don't listen to no one who says that to you. If you had two less ribs and you could eat your own tuntun, would you eat your own tuntun? No. <laughs> I personally wouldn't either. <laughs> 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 so maybe he didn't suck his own dick. <laughs> it's not the Wait. same, is it? It's like tickling yourself. Yeah, no, nah, it's true. It doesn't work. It? <laughs> nah, it's true still. It's true still. Do you listen to any modern music? Yeah, I do. Like English stuff. Yeah. Well, who's your, who's, who's I like Steph for you? London. Who are you playing in your car? I like Dutch like Belly's sister. <laughs> um, I love Sinead Harnett. <laughs> I love what's so funny? I love Sinead Harley. Um I love Bree Runway. There's loads of artists that I really Bree Runway. Enjoy. Yeah. You listen no, to I'm any drill? Still. Not particularly. No, no, no. Tim Wayne's, no Russ's. No. No, no, no. You know that, that song that sounds like every song? Like and I might hear a little thing, I might do a little shoulder dance, but yeah, nah, I'm not, little, I'm not really about you. that life. No, you, you don't listen to pop paper. Now you oh, need to take that in, you know. Pipe of pop, pop of paper, pipe of paper. <laughs> nah, stop it. <laughs> stop. Peter picked a pipe of paper. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to watch it. Pipe of paper, what's his name? 
Potter paper. Now you need to listen to Oh no, that's to. not who I'm thinking of. <laughs> no, I know a guy called something pot of paper no who? I'm going to google him later we'll have a chat what does he look like it's a white dude with, with glasses. glasses yeah yeah pot, pot of paper. paper is that his name the, the yeah. rapper, the rapper kid say it? Yeah. the rapper kid oh my friend used to manage him I don't yeah, know if he still does still. Yeah, pot yeah, paper, yeah 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 no, he's good he's good do you know what I appreciate talent what and are you I, playing in the car right now at the moment I'm playing a Spotify mixtape that I made oh is it and I'm playing my new stuff that I've been working at in the studio oh is it can we get a preview of her maybe yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Tell the people what your album's called in that. And it's what- called La Rock Music Volume 1 Pop Selectro. Right. Um, I've got a new tune at the moment with Stilo called um, This Girl. And yeah, and actually myself and Stilo, we're doing, um, we're, we're doing it this weekend. We're going to do an EP in a weekend. Okay. Yeah. How Locked many tunes? Five tunes. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it going to be a visual EP or... Like, I'm not Beyonce, you know. <laughs> no, but can't pee money. No, 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 no stop. That's yeah, what, that's I what, ain't got what. budget. No, 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 I don't have the budget. No, it could be natural, though, man. It could be a natural. I'm going to film some stuff on my iPhone. <laughs> 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 Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah. Good, cool. So you got a five, right. what is it, five tunes, yeah? Yeah. Five tunes. Five tunes, five. long weekend. No. Locked, in. You're locked in there yeah, yeah 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 I'm quite excited because we get, we have mad vibes together so Not I'm leaving. very excited no that's sick yeah I'm taking pyjamas alright cameraman yeah sweet listen sorry unfortunately I've had a, such a lovely time cameraman spoiling it thanks for having me on thank your, you for on your coming show. it's thank been a pleasure you see if I'd done this maybe 20 years ago I'd have been like a kid in a candy shop you get me <laughs> I'm what do you mean grown, in a candy I'm shop? A, I'm a what grown does that mean? Man, in a no, candy you, were, shop. you see, when I was growing up, you were the team. Everyone used to fancy you. You were the team. Everyone fancy me. Everyone used to fancy you. Why am I single? Because <laughs> you're picky. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. because Ono. Ono. <laughs> you're picky. It's because Ono didn't do the work on yourself. You not need to work on yourself, what you know. What do we need to work? Tell us, yeah. tell us what Go we need on, to do. Like, tell us what we need to do. Let's have this out. So I'm just going to say this quickly, yeah. Go on. So... A lot of women, like, we get heartbroken by men. And a lot of the time, the reason why we get heartbroken by men is because you lot are going through your own trauma, your own issues, and you, you know, hurt people, hurt people, and you inflict that upon us. And so we're always like, men this, men that, men this. But what I've realised is that men have got their own trauma that they're going through, and they've got their own PTSD that they, that they need to work through. But as women, because we're more emotional beings, we go and do the work, we do life coaching, you know, we do affirmations, we do manifestations. And you act on emotion also. We do. Mm-hmm. That's not always a bad thing, though, because I think not being always. vulnerable is not part always, but of the journey. It can be. Why? Because it can take you ten years to build something and five minutes to break it all no, down. And that's right. on the act of emotion that oh, can happen. I disagree. I think that just. I think you should always be vulnerable and you should be open and honest and you should be able to have an open port of communication. So that's not always a bad thing. Okay, cool. It depends on the circumstance. I know you're getting into something personal. I don't need to know your business like that. What I will say is, carry on telling us about where we need to fix But what I will say is, like as women, we do the work. And obviously as women, we talk to each other. So we have that kind of network where we can commune with each other and we we help get each other so through no i don't think you do. Not, do not the way you need to no, we do. no not the way you need how to how do we need to though because i just see you. a lot of broken men just like repeating the same kind of fucked up agree. mistakes over agree. and over again a lot of us of a certain generation are better than our dads yes but it's, so but it's still something you're not affected by your dad some of us I think everyone. Do you know what? I don't agree. Nobody is I not affected agree. by their parents because your parents are the first human beings that you have interaction with, and it's like it's just part of human nature that there's going to be one thing that they get wrong, and then you're going to take that. In. It's just it's just how it works, and then you you create a strong suit about it. Like when you do life coaching, this is the stuff they teach you. It's very deep. <laughs> Sound like Japanese right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the Remy, right? No, no, but I'm seriously, but anyway, mm-hmm. this is another this is another story for another time. But yeah. I'm just saying, as human beings, like everyone should, I think everyone would benefit from life coaching. I think everyone should do life coaching. Okay. It makes you a more whole, complete human being, and it makes you a better human being, enabled to na- interact with other human beings. And relationship wise, like men, you've got to do the work on yourself. So have women, so have women. We're doing the work. No, the, and what's no, the work wait, that you wait, are wait, doing? Wait, what gal? What gal? Wait, 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 wait. What gal? You moving to? You know what? Let me. You know what I'm doing on yourself? Contouring. That's the work. No, you know what I have to ask? You know what I have to ask? Because 
I don't want to say I'm not going to say all women, but majority of women are damaged. And yes, you, and, we are. and they bring, like you said, yeah. you, you, they bring their heartbreak from their last place into this place. And I'm not disputing that, but what I'm saying is, but we are doing the work though, because we oh, understand what's that. What's the work? Hurting people? No, we're, we're having counselling. That's oh. a real thing. Mm. We're having counselling. Uh, I've had counselling. We we're going to turn counsellors. Hey, <laughs> we, need, we, need, we, need, we need you to come back so we can talk about this, because we need to go in depth on this one. Because I feel like this is a proper thing about counselling and mental health and PTSD and all of that. I think no. That's something, like, that's something that we really need to go No, but into. what I was saying is, is that women blame men a lot of the time for their shortcomings and their misgivings and the, you know, the trauma that they suffer in relationships. But the reason I feel like men are sometimes the catalyst for that is because they haven't done the work on themselves that they need to do. So it's hurt people hurting people. No, definitely. I, I, I yeah, can agree with yeah, that. You see what? It is PTSD like tennis, is real. PTSD tennis is real. of hurt people hurting people. People. Yeah, that is exactly. Yeah. I hear that still on so both we, parts. So we have to be responsible for our own selves, and we've got to do the work. But what I'm saying is, especially amongst my circle of friends, like my female friends, we're doing the work. So y'all need to step up. I rate that. So that we can be nine. unified. All right, we got to wrap it up. We got yeah. to wrap it up. The cam- cameraman's got to go, so <laughs> we can't carry on. Sorry. No, please like, please. share, and subscribe down there and down there. I'm at Kelly LaRock, everything. Okay. K-E-L-E-L-E-R-O-C. Your socials yeah. are going to be somewhere down there. Yeah. And ours are going to be Follow me, like me. Watch my videos, buy my new album. Thank you for tuning in. Love you. Another episode done. Thank you. I've been quiet today, but I still love you.